There you are. Good morning, Victor. Uh, so, uh, taking a look at the boat uh, on the side planks. The interesting work that's already been done is the the, the plank seams were were splined. So, the you know, plank seams aren't going to open and close. Uh, that's pretty cool. An added bonus. Uh, it measures 18 foot five from the tip of the rudder right here. 18 foot five from the tip of the rudder to to the uh, bow <clears throat> right here. So tip of the bow. So uh, maybe 18 foot six. But anyway, um, we use that for a straight edge. Um, so anyhow, what I can do is I can hinge. There are no brakes on the trailer. I can hinge the uh, the tongue and make it a swing away tongue. So uh, that will make that easily. You know what they can do is once we get there to the freight forwarder, we can loosen this up, slide it forward, uh, and then unpin the uh, unpin the hinge and rotate the hinge and put this thing, uh, or maybe even just pull the pin out of the hinge and, and take this piece of the tongue off and um, and set it in the container. Uh, I said I'd send you some video proof that it is a 5200 bottom. And this boat would have had diagonal planking. And as you can see, uh, there's a plywood inner layer and so no diagonal planking, which would mean that this bottom has definitely been replaced. Um, when I noticed that and said something to the, uh, to the owner, he remembered, oh yeah, that was done before I bought it. The guy I bought it from did that, uh, actually did the 5200 bottom. So uh, he remembered it, um, that it had been done. So, um, and I, when I was looking at the back here, uh, you know, this, this, the plank seams back here, I thought 5200 bottom as well. So um, the seams have opened up a little bit. This thing's been sitting and drying, but um, I'll show you the bottom here. Uh, and they'll do that. My, I have a 5200 bottom on my 60 to Capri, 60 Capri. And it has done that as well. Those plank seams have opened, but that's uh, definitely 5200, and nothing's come out. So you got your inner layer of plywood, which is your waterproof layer. This is glued to your inner layer, and it's uh, not going anywhere. So I think you got a real good buy here, and uh, I'll watch for the wire transfer. Thank you very much uh, for the uh, for the confirmation that you've said it. Uh, and uh, we'll watch for the wire transfer and and, uh, and and as far as your freight forwarder you might want to select a different forwarder, forwarder the guys that took the boat over there to the freight forwarder uh, were concerned that uh, that we, that you used last time they they said this is not a freight forwarding operation this is they felt like it was some kind of a smuggling operation. The lot was muddy, yet these guys all had uh, had uh, white uh, white tennis shoes, uh, pure white, not dirty, and uh, so they all thought it was. We thought it was really odd, and then we looked up uh, some information on that company and found lots of complaints had been lodged against them. And it sounds like your experience wasn't the best either. They charged you a lot of money. Um, so you might want to get a different forwarder. We'll also pull these fenders off. They're just held on with the, with a U-bolt at each end. So we'll pull the fenders off and then probably uh, uh, we'll pull the, uh, pull the, your forwarder will probably pull the wheels off um, at the, uh, Actually, it's 95 inches, but I don't know what the inside dimensions of your I don't know what the inside dimensions of your uh, container are. So it might even have to pull these guys might even have to pull your axles off. I'm not sure what the simplest method. Obviously, the freight forwarders have a method for dealing with that. Um, so 
So we'd really like to haul it over there for you and let the people that are experienced at loading the containers uh, take that responsibility. Uh, we might could do it, but we've never done one before. So we'll either overkill it and cost you a lot of money because we overkilled it or we'll underkill it and cost you a lot of money because there's damage. So really, we would like to, uh, we'd like to fix this trailer to where it'll fit inside a 20 foot container and remove the fenders for you. Uh, and then let them take it, let the forwarder take it from there. But again, I would suggest you use a different forwarder than you used last time. Thank you.